right, we're here with Gage. You went undefeated at today's event. What deck were you playing, buddy? Yes, sir. I was playing Infernoble today. How were your matchups? Uh, my matchups were good. Uh, round one, I played against uh, Zoo El Lich. I 2 0'd. Uh, round two, I played against Zoo El Lich. I 2 1. Round three, I played against uh, Shadal Dogmatica, 2 0. And then uh, round four, I played against Zoo El Lich again, 2 uh, 1. And then round five, I played against Paleo, 2 uh, 1, and I won that one. Nice. Let's check it out. All right, yes, sir. So for the monsters, uh, we have a 45 card count deck. Uh, for the Infernoble cards, we have the three Oliver, the three Roland, and then the Oro Gear. Uh, for me, this was the perfect standard. Uh, you only really need one of this because it's searchable through, All right, that's time. through six different ways, and it was quite lovely. Uh, for the Fire Warriors, we play uh, two Gear Freed. Uh, this card in general just won me so many games. It's broken. Uh, when it has like Oliver and Ogier equipped, it's probably the best card in the game. Let me play the Extenders, the two Red Lair, and the two Fire Plant. These are just generic Warrior Extenders. They're so good. I love these cards. And then uh, for the starter cards, I play the one Armageddon Knight and the one Plague Spreader. Uh, this is just if I want to extend more on a soul and as well as a starter card. And if you're able to open like this and Fire Plant Lady or an Equip, uh, this and sending Plague is just so good because it just plays around like Nibiru and stuff like that. And you're able to make an Appaloosa combo and still have Plague Engrave and it's very good. And then to me, my favorite card in the deck, uh, three Neo Space Connector and the one Aqua Dolphin. Uh, these, this is insane. It's the best start in the game. You're able to start ripping hands. Like, Smoke Grenade's banned for this deck, so it's kind of kind of a little different. But if you open Neo Space Connector, you're able to look at that hand and get that hand knowledge uh, with Infernoble. That was really, really good last format, and it basically makes it the same exact deck. And then for the hand traps, uh, I played two Ash, uh, two Droll, and then uh, two Bell. Uh, this is just full coverage for the whole format. Uh, Ash, Troll, Bell, they all hit Diatron, Eldritch, Zoo. Like, it's, just, it's, it's just so I can cover the whole entire uh, basis of the meta. And it worked out perfectly for me. And then for the rest of the monsters, I play the three bricks. Uh, Gemba, Coltwing, and Despot. If you open these, really, really bad. But they're kind of not bricks because the Gemba, if you open it, you can just summon a Fire Flint Lady and then summon it from hand. The Despot, because you can summon Needle Fiber from hand. And then you play Armageddon Knight and Plague because if you draw the Coltwing, most decks don't play it. So if you draw Coltwing, it kind of sucks. But since I play Plague, you can just put it back with Plague Spreader and it re -ables the whole entire combo, which is really, really good. Uh, that's it for the monsters. Uh, for the spells, uh, you play three Heritage and uh, three Drindle. This is standard for every infernal deck. It searches any level five warrior lower. It's so good. It's free Rota. And then for the equips, we play uh, three Living Fossil, uh, one Phoenix Blade, one DDR, and then one uh, Autonomous Action Unit. Uh, this is basically just for the Armageddon Knight combo, and this drawing is just, it's so good because it's not once per turn. And then DDR is when I want to Omega or Aqua Dolphin and just rip more cards out of the hand. And it, it's, it's so good, I love it. And then for the generic spells, we play three Cosmic Cyclone because Back row really, really hurts this deck, and like against the Eldritch traps, being able to just banish them, or against just floodgates such as like Rivalry goes in, Mystic Mind, Zombie World, just a whole bunch of like really good generic cards, and just Cosmic Cyclone just outs them. And then for the last two spells, we play the Broken One Call By, and then the Broken One Rota. Uh, for the extra deck, play uh, two Assault. This is 100% standard. Any warrior deck should be playing it. Uh, we play the one Needle Fiber and the one Auroragon. Uh, it's combo, it's really, really good. I love these cards. Uh, I decided to play Unicorn and uh, Appaloosa. Unicorn because I like being able to get over uh, the Golden Lord when it's summoned by its effect because access code can't pop it because it can't be for my card effect, so you can just shuffle it back. And then if I go Neo Space Connector and I see a Nibiru, I, ba I go for my Appaloosa play. And then it's basically forced Nibiru, or if they don't Nibiru, I have negated for it, so it's perfectly fine. And that's it for the links. Uh, for the Synchros, play the one Herald, uh, the one Roland. Uh, this card's insane. This card's insane because the Droplets is the best card of the format right now, and this stops it. Uh, I play Power Tool. I love this card against any equip in my deck. 
Uh, you play the Synchro Ace Omega if I want a hand loop, and if I just want to like negate uh, negate on board, I go for Savage. I love these cards so much. I might cut Omega, but I'm not too sure about it. And then the nines, you play the Charles because it's Charles. And then I play Shen Shen. Uh, I, this card is so good because it's so generic. And then for my VFD play, I play the Trish and then the VFD. Uh, this card is the best card of the format. It's insane. If you're able to make it, you're pretty much guaranteed the win no matter what. And then for my sideboard, uh, for the monsters, we play uh, three Lancia, uh, three Nib, and then uh, three Cycle Reader. Uh, this is just coverage for the whole meta. Nibiru hits a lot of road decks. Uh, Lancia hits the, the Tri Brigade deck, and then uh, Reader hits the Dytron deck, or even Eldritch if they have two Lords Engrave, which is really, really good. Uh, I love this side. This is, this is perfect for the monsters. And then I play uh, three Evenly Mash. I think Evenly is insane right now because like Eldritch decks, they can't really, like no one really puts a negate up for their board. So Evenly Mash just clears their entire board, especially like Invoke or like Dogmatica. Like it, ju it just hurts them so much. And then the Holy Trio, uh, Panker Tops, Reboot, and Feather Duster. I think every deck should be citing these three cards. These cards are at one for a reason and they're insane. All right, man. Congrats, bro. Any shout outs? Uh, shout outs to Curtis, Anthony, Kiana, Nate, Deo, Mika, Jack, Brittany, AJ, the whole squad, the Team Mary 51. Shout out to 51. Vi, Sam. Sam, we miss you. I love you. And then especially Alex. We love you, bro. All right, buddy. Congrats. We'll see you next time. Oh, one more shout out. Shout out to David Signer. He's the best shop, shop owner ever. Come down to Area 51. It's the best locals in North California. It's great. You're going to have a good time. Great people. We have a great time over here, bud. Thanks, man. No problem, buddy.